It's time to talk roster and uh, some of the areas that need to be addressed. We welcome back in Jake Burns from the Orange and Brown Report. Uh, Jake, again, we appreciate the time. Browns, 10th pick in the draft. Um, what do you see kind of the process in some guys they may be looking at or uh, positions they may be looking at even to, um, to upgrade there? Well, I think there are two very obvious positions that they want to attack, whether that's free agency or the draft. That's going to be offensive tackle. I think they have to probably get two guys. Um, I don't think they're going to start either Greg Robinson or, or Chris Hubbard. Um, probably will keep Kendall Lamb around as a swing tackle option. Um, but then they have to address linebacker too. So the good thing is that the 10th pick, there will be options there at both spots. So there are three, and I think you can include four tackles that are really top-end tackles in this draft. Andrew Thomas out of Georgia is the best one. Jedrick Willis out of Alabama, another very good one. Um, Tristan Wirfs, a kid out of Iowa, is a very good player, right tackle. Um, they could take either one of those three. A kid that's going to keep climbing up boards is Mekhi Becton out of uh, Louisville, just a massive human, uh, 6'8", 340. He's, he's huge, and, and he moves well. Basketball player. In high school, he's only 20 years old. I think that they have four really sound tackle options at 10, and they're high-end players, so they they could feel good about any one of those guys. Some of those guys might get taken in front of them, but um, it can, you know, it'll come down to what their thought process is with how they grade those guys out. Because at 10, another player who could might get taken before 10, but could be there's Isaiah Simmons, a kid out of Clemson. If you watch at Ohio State Clemson game, you saw him make an interception. He's a linebacker. He's a slot corner. He's a safety. He's a big guy who runs really well. He will blow away the combine. He will be fast. Uh, he'll probably run in the four fours in terms of speed, but is a big bodied guy who can play that linebacker role too, but it's like a, an effective Swiss army knife for playing in nickel defenses and doing just a bunch of fun things from the linebacker position. Um, but like I said, can drop back and play safety. He's, he's, a, he's the type of player that a lot of defensive coordinators love. So I do think it's going to come down to either a tackle or if they feel really good about taking Simmons there and maybe getting a tackle in the second round because they like the the group that's uh, – that's it, the offensive tackle group is deep as a whole. So I think they could they could go that route. But I would be pretty surprised if they did not go tackle at 10 because they really need to upgrade that position. And there's a lot of high-end tackles in this draft. 